How's it going, everybody? It is your boy here, the Bees Knees, and it is day two of Fan Expo Denver. I'm so excited because today is the day. I am going to just throw on my Jedi robes really quick and get ready to head out the door. We're gonna try to be at the con space a little earlier because it says it doesn't open till 10, but Hayden's autographs start at 10, and I have to go pick up that art from William, and so I'm really excited to like see how it turned out. I like cannot wait to see. So let's let's get ready to go to con, guys. Ooh, today is Hayden's autographs, his photo ops, and his panel. So today's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a lot of content for you guys, but I'm excited. So let's get ready to go to con. Alrighty, everybody. This is the finished fit for day two of Fan Expo Denver, and today is Hayden Christensen Day. So I am excited. My dad's over there getting his bandana ready and everything. We're waiting again for our Uvu driver. But this is this is the fit. I'm excited. I'm really, really, really excited. So I, look, I look pretty cool. Sheesh. And I got Anakin's lightsaber right here. Boom. I'm excited. The real Anakin's gonna hold this lightsaber. I am like, I'm beyond excited. We'll see you guys at con. Alrighty guys, we made it to day two of Fan Expo Denver. And we're going right now to pick up the art that William drew for me. So there's so many people here. <laughs> like way more than yesterday <laughs> so uh, we are in the line for Hayden Christensen we are literally right at his room <sighs> I'm not ready man I'm not ready I just got Hayden's autograph a little bit ago and finally calmed down from that and now I'm just waiting for my group number to be called for his photo op and I'm pretty excited so I'll show you guys the picture after I get back from that. It looks like somebody's just stepping. Stepping. Let me see. Oh, that, what the heck? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I hope you like him too. I asked him, so it started out, I went in there and I was like, can I have a hug? And he's like, sure. Like, squeeze me really tight. And then when he let me go, he grabbed my hand, holding my hand during the picture. And he's like, it was lovely seeing you again. I hope to see you later tonight. Anakin oh, Skywalker dang. said that to me. Dang, down bro. in history. I'm like, <laughs> it was like, man, it was so worth it though. Oh, dang, go, go, like, go. Like oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Mission, Mission accomplished. So you want to sit down? Yes, I would love to sit down. <laughs> so now my dad and I are just chilling in the cafeteria. Waiting for food. Literally Hayden's panel is gonna be like right next door to this, so we can just eat and chill for a bit and then I gotta walk over there at six to check in. Yeah, I met him and it was just amazing. I'll tell you guys more about it when we get to the room, but I'm excited for his panel tonight. Met some awesome people waiting in lines to get his autograph and to just see him. It's just been an amazing con so far, but yeah. I will I will see you guys when we have food. Alrighty guys, we just got done eating and now we are at the Hayden Christensen panel and I'm excited. Denver! Who's excited for some Hadenson Christ Hadenson? 
What if I came out to introduce Hayden and I said, Hayden and Christensen? Well, now you're, now you're getting it out of now, your system. Now I'm practicing. Hayden and Christensen. Christensen. <laughs> yeah. Who's excited to see Hayden Christensen on this stage? <laughs> the ASL symbol for when Anakin gets his arm cut off is literally just like, The way that I met her is, I'm a big Broadway nerd. I mean, obviously, through theater, musical theater, yes, yes. Theater kids in the house, let's go. Uh, so I went to go see her one-woman show that was on Broadway called Wishful Drinking. Whoops. Was that you? It was somebody, all right. Somebody pointed their microphone at the monitor, I'm sorry. So, the show was phenomenal. Hilarious, one-woman show. She pretty much is kind of telling the accounts of her life. It's based off her book. Where she starts from when she was younger, growing up with her mom and going into acting school. Uh, she pointed out something that I cannot unhear anymore. They sent her to London for acting school. So if you watch A New Hope, there's a lot of times she slips in and out of a British accent. Yeah. It's a thing. And she pointed it out. And I was like, oh my God, you're right. Absolutely. So she had some people come up on stage. It was, it was a phenomenal show, loved it. Now, fun secret, if you guys ever make it to New York City, go to a Broadway show to see one of like your favorite actors or whatever, I'm gonna give you a little secret. When the show is done, leave the theater and go to find the stage door. If you wait there, that's where they exit out of and they will give you autographs and stuff. Fan Expo Denver, get those lightsabers up, everybody! Please welcome to the stage, Hayden today on your photo ops, the autographs, all the time that you gave to your fans, and that you're able to still come out here and show tonight on this stage. Give them some love, everybody. Come on.
today meeting so many of you, and, and I hope you all had a, a really good day, too. <laughs> Hayden, um, we've got a bunch of fan-submitted questions. We have some fun games we're going to play with you tonight. Um, but I want to it. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to kick it off with, uh, we reached out to a lot of local fans from Denver, from across the states that traveled all the way here, even some folks from across the pond in the UK that made it here to Denver to see you. Um, we asked them what Star Wars means to them. And so we've got a fun little video we want to kick things off with, all right? Awesome. That's so awesome. give it up for the fans, uh, Denver. Um, Adrian, whenever you're ready, let's take it away. Star Wars is costume design. The costume design of Star Wars is absolutely insane, and I'm currently a costume design student at the California Institute of the Arts, and the entire reason I even started doing this was because of my dad showing me the prequels when I was younger. When I saw those costumes on screen, I was so incredibly inspired, and it just literally changed my life, so thank you. Hi, my name is Lexi, and I'm from Colorado, and I think my favorite thing about Star Wars is just the diversity of the characters. Plus, it gives you a lot of fun characters to cosplay as, so I really like that. Plenty of other videos that are better than this, but you know, Star Wars has, made, has meant a lot to me. And it's helped me through some really, really hard times. And so has Hayden. Hey, hey uh, my name is James. I'm from the United Kingdom. And I just want to say, Hayden, you are amazing. You are one of the best characters in Star Wars. And since my youth, since my dad introduced me to Star Wars, I've in love with it, as you can see, and um, I've literally grown up watching your films, watching all the Star Wars films, and I just want to say thank you for being amazing. Hi, I'm Chia, and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I love Star Wars because it has brought me closer to a community that spans around the world. Whether you're in it for the cosplay or for collecting toys, whether you like the sequels, the prequels, or the originals, there's something for everyone. May the Force be with you. Hello, my name is Aslan Carroll, and I come from a small little town in Northern California called New Beaver. I just want to thank everybody for this amazing experience and this amazing opportunity. I'm so excited to meet Hayden in just less than a week now. I just want to thank everyone who's been a part of this amazing franchise. I've known about Star Wars my whole life. I just recently got into it after going through a really difficult time in my life. And so I just want to thank the strength of the Jedi and the strength of the Force for helping me give me guidance to push through and just become a better, stronger version of myself. So thank you guys. Hi, it's Mandy from Colorado Springs, Colorado. <laughs> My favorite thing about the Star Wars franchise is Darth Vader. I've always been a Vader girl since 1979. Any Vader girls in the room here? He's always been a good guy. He's just trying to do what's right. He did everything for love. Even if you meant for him to go into the dark side just to save the people he loves. And that's why I love Star Wars. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lisa oh, Katie. I am from it's Public Colorado. What does Star Wars mean to me? Well, Star Wars means to me family. Since I was little, my uncle has always shown me Star Wars. He showed me all the original Star Wars when I was a kid. And then when the prequels started coming out, he took me to every single movie. He would get me out of school early and we would always go see all the prequel movies. And then when the new series came out, we'd go see those as well. It's always been family to me, and that's why I love about Star Wars. It's always been a family tradition. Let's give it up for the fans, everybody. <laughs> so much to me too so uh th th that was great thank yeah, you for that. that's awesome give yourself a round of applause for that. <laughs> I've trained extensively for the lightsaber duels who would you say is the better swordsman between the two of you <laughs> <laughs> well i i you know <laughs> I, I i would i would have to say you and when i showed up on episode two you know he'd, he'd already had episode one under his belt sure. and uh and you know he, he was amazing. Um, he, you know when you when you do the lightsaber training, at first you're just doing it with the stunt team, and then once you you know the fight, then they'll bring the actors together and, and have them 
start to practice. Sure. Uh, my first time doing it with you, and I was just always trying to keep up with him because he's so fast. <laughs> uh, so episode two, I was always playing catch up. Episode three, you know, I think I got pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh God, they're, they're kicking us out of the building. <laughs> We're not going home. Um, from the Star Wars prequel, there we go. The stars are back out in the galaxy. Nice to see, see you yeah. guys, though. Yeah. <laughs> We're seeing it, Here we go. Alright, Hayden, what line happens next? It's, don't, don't help yet. It's one of the most iconic lines in all of Star Wars. Oh, I know what this is. Yeah, what do you say? I know what this is. Yep. Um, this is you and this is Obi-Wan uh, saying, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> is it? Possibly, am I wrong? Who, no, I'm not wrong. Who else that's on stage right now may also have said that line in this moment? Or did I say that? You before? said it! Uh, <laughs> I got to say it! You got to say it! Oh my goodness. Let's see, let's see if that's correct. Andrew, roll the next scene. I've got a bad feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get half a point for that? Yeah, we'll, we'll, right. we'll give you some points. Uh, you got to say it. You it's such a quintessential Obi Wan line. Yeah, 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 no, he does. He says it in the uh, in the first one in Phantom Menace. Right. Um, I think he might say it a second time too. Is he uh, not saying in this movie too? Was it just me? Yeah. yeah. I guess it was just me. It was just you. It was just. I'm off to a bad start. That's all right. That's all right. All right. Let's roll that next clip. I love the turtle. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> let's take that and catch the beginning yeah, let's of the take that back. Okay, here we go. Me. But someone. Someone wise. Sounds an awful lot like a dictatorship to me. Oh. Well. Wow. Ooh, look at that smirk. <laughs> look at that smirk. Right, so it sounds like an awful lot like a dictatorship. Well. Well. Um, that, that. <laughs> that wouldn't be such a bad thing. No, no, that's not it. Someone help me, please. If it works. If it, if it works. Yeah, if it well, works. if it works, I, I, I had the right idea. Yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're on the right team. Let's play words. the clip and see if Hayden is right. <laughs> I got no heads up on this, by the way. <laughs> well, if it works. If it works. Yeah. yeah! Oh, then. Oh, Padman's not happy with you. <laughs> Can we bring up the next slide? Uh, this leads to one of my favorite memes in all of, of the Star Wars prequels. Bring up that next slide, um, Adrian, here. Yeah, it's... <laughs> 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 What is it like seeing your lines of dialogue that you delivered 20 years ago becoming, this is one of the most popular memes on the internet where people sub in just different things like world problems and have uh, seen different, different versions of, of this scene with different text. Yeah, tell us a little bit, I want to like talk about this a little bit. What is it like seeing your lines of dialogue become these famous and, and fun memes uh, on the internet? Yeah, or do you even follow along with them? I love it. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't have like social media, so I don't, I'm not super up to date with everything, but I have a friend who sends me all the memes. <laughs> um, and, uh, and so I've seen quite a few of them, and, and they all make me laugh, they make me happy. Um, I think it's cool. Yeah, I love it. Tell me about where you... Alright. Here we go. Woo! I shouldn't. Do it. <laughs> alright, Hayden, what happens next? Come on. I, I help him up. Off goes the head. Yeah, let's see it. Let's roll it, everybody. Feel free to say do it along with Ian McDonald. Do it. Let's see the uh, answer. I think, wait, wait, wait. I think I said I, should, I, I, I shouldn't have done that. It's not the Jedi way. I should get extra points for that. Yeah. All right, we'll give you bonus points. We'll give you bonus points. Let's see it. Let's see the scene. Do it. Oh, we cut it too. Wait, we cut it too soon. Wait, Trust me, though. Bonus that's points for that, saying. right, everybody? Yeah. Such a satisfying way to move someone's head like that. Yeah. 
you can see it uh, in your eyes. And I want to show this next. So uh, again, uh, your amazing stunt choreographer, uh, Nick Gillard, posted this just recently, back in January, the behind the scenes footage of you actually doing this take. I want to take a look at it and just hear about, hear about you, know, you performing that. So let's take that next clip, yeah. <laughs> He says, I, I, I loved you, Anakin, yeah. like a brother. Yeah, let's roll it. We're all going to cry. Let's roll it. <laughs> you were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. Come on, give it up for that scene, everybody. Yeah. The whole, the whole Mustafar's fight. But I think it's that moment right there that then we see again in the new Obi-Wan series where again, he realizes, he, he almost wants to give uh, Anakin a second, one more, another chance. You know, and he says your name, Anakin, and you say, you know, Anakin is no more. Uh, just talk about, yeah, talk about that <laughs> Yeah, moment. I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of nice sort of um, connection between those scenes. Um, and, and, you know, I think in that, in that scene there, he, he also says to Anakin, you know, I failed you. Yeah. And then in the Obi-Wan show, um, I say, I'm not your failure, Obi-Wan. And I think, you know, that's sort of, or at least I interpreted it as, as sort of a bit of Anakin coming through and, and, and sort of trying to absolve uh, Obi-Wan of his guilt a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah. But, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, the two scenes sort of play off of each other very nicely. Yeah, both beautiful scenes. All right, I think we've got one more, one more for you here. Let's uh, see the final clip. What door. happens next here? So door. you get to short. You we got to go in the elevator. <laughs> no, we don't go in the elevator. What happens next? Yeah, this is this is a, a behind the scenes. So you walk up to that door, and then you hear up. Wrong door. Wrong door. Wrong door. Wrong door. Oh, I know this. Yeah, <laughs> wrong door. I went to the wrong door, and then George shouted at me, "Wrong door." <laughs> and we had to cut. Let's see it. Let's see it. No. Uh, wrong door. <laughs> Cut. That was a real person I was carrying too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, I, we love as fans hearing George's voice in the background there. Sure. Just a quick anecdote. Like, what was it like working with George uh, on these films? Uh, he always just seems like a delight behind the camera. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's George Lucas. Yeah. It was yeah. An incredible <laughs> experience for me, uh, getting to be directed by him and. Um, and, and uh, you know, I was such a massive fan of his. Um, obviously, Star Wars and Indiana Jones. Did you Jones. Spar with your daughter? You said uh, she's sort of getting. Yeah, into yeah, it. yeah. We we uh, we have little lightsaber battles. Uh, <laughs> my daughter and I, and, and oh, no. even my I have a, a young nephew, um, and and he's seen the Star Wars films actually, uh, and so he loves to battle with me too. <laughs> and somehow I never win. Yeah. <laughs> Multiple choice, no wrong answer. It's just would you rather's in Star Wars. All right, so like a this or that. All right, so we can throw um, the first one up on the screen. Here we go. First one, Hayden. Would you rather keep Darth Vader's helmet or Darth Vader's lightsaber? You can only keep one. Well, I do have a Darth Darth Vader lightsaber. Yeah. So, uh, and I, I don't have a helmet, so I can the helmet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Tell us quickly though, because fans ask a lot about this with the costume. What was it like putting back on that helmet uh, again in Obi Wan? Uh, both just emotionally, but then also the physical uh, application of it. I mean, emotionally incredible. Yeah. You know, uh, it's it's such a empowering costume to to put on, uh, and it, it definitely turns a lot of heads. Um, and uh, but but the you know the practicality of it is is it's a very cumbersome, you know, hot costume, <laughs> very challenging to be grounded, yeah, yeah. 
and, and very limited visibility. Uh, so you do your best, and there's like a team of people around you to make sure you don't, you know, walk into walls and whatnot. <laughs> Would you rather be a bounty hunter or a stormtrooper? Bounty hunter. Yeah. Not even, not even close. Ninety-five percent say bounty hunter over stormtrooper. Definitely. Do you have a favorite um, character from all of sort of Star Wars um, history and lexicon? A favorite um, character, not necessarily a bounty hunter. I was a huge Boba Fett fan. Yeah. Uh, I remember even when they were uh, casting for Anakin, and, and I got the phone call from my agent saying that you know I was in the mix. Um, I, I remember a asking him or saying like, "Look, I think this is a bit of a long shot to, to try to get, get Anakin, but yeah. you know, are they? Is there like a young Boba Fett or something?" Yeah. Or something like um, so I would have been very happy with that too. <laughs> it doesn't turn out well for Django. Uh, just spoiler. Yeah. 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 Would you rather race a pod racer or drive an at at or at at? We're still up for debate in the crowd here, <laughs> which one it's pronounced as. But which would you rather do? Um, you know, when I was a little younger, I would I would definitely have said uh, pod racer because I, I had a, a, a heavy foot. And I used to like to drive a little fast, <laughs> um, but but now. My sort of penchant for speed is not what it used to be. <laughs> and my love of big equipment is Yeah, there it is! is. Um, so I would love to get yeah. <laughs> you could blast. Easy. You could blast so many pawns in your just, backyard. Yeah, just yeah. 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 operate that, figure out what the levers are doing. <laughs> Sign me up. I love it, I love it. All right, let's hop over to question number four. Question number four. All right, would you rather kiss a Wookiee or get tongued by Jar Jar Binks? Uh, <laughs> This was a fan favorite question. Did uh, I offend you or something? <laughs> I, I mean, if I it can be like a little peck on the cheek, I'd go for a, a kiss a Wookiee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's everybody. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Did it. Yeah. Uh, I want to bring up two uh, amazing actors. First off, we talked about pod racing. Uh, Jake Lloyd bringing the character to life, yeah. obviously, in Phantom Menace. Shout out to Jake. <laughs> And then Ahmed Best, you know, coming back, Ahmed and being a Jedi. Let's give it up for Ahmed. How does it make you feel um, seeing everyone from the prequels coming back and becoming fan favorites and, and just all the love uh, for these original characters, specifically Ahmed, you know, in, in the most recent season? So happy for Ahmed, and, yeah. and, uh, and I love Ahmed. He's, he's, he's such a, a great person yeah. and and we had a blast when we were doing the prequels um and he's a phenomenally talented uh performer yeah you know i, I think i think everyone was sort of in awe of of, of, of his what he was doing what the work that he was doing um, as a sidekick who would you rather have r2d2 or bb8 Obviously. yeah not even close yeah was... easy one <laughs> all right now that this gets harder would you rather spend a day with padme I'm sorry, you have to <laughs> Padme, or look at them, both of their smiles are just so yeah. beautiful. Or Leia, you have to choose. It was close, I'll I don't, tell you this, it was close. I, yeah, I don't know, I can choose on this one. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I guess I'll go with, with Padme. Yeah, yeah. It was a slight, oh, it actually looked like Padme turned up uh, the winner at the end there, it kind of just put those in order. All right, last one, here we go, Hayden. We'll send you off on this uh, last question. Would, who would you rather have on your side in a fight, Yoda or Darth Vader? <laughs> is, this, is this a trick question? Because <laughs> you know, I, I play Darth Vader. Yeah! <laughs> it's Darth Vader! Darth Vader is right here, everybody sitting next to me! Is your lightsaber dead, Anakin? Yes. You want to use it. mine? That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Anakin. Go, get him. Yeah. 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 Oh no, a phone. Yeah. 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 yeah.
<laughs> You're doing amazing. Oh, that's my phone. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we just got out of Hayden's panel. It was epic. I met some pretty cool people. And we just had an absolute blast. And they actually played my video on the TV, which I was like shocked about. But now I'm real celebrity. Real, real ce celebrity right here. Yeah. Real celebrity. Right. She was on the big screen. Her face on the big screen. I was Woo! like, am I watching a movie? I'm in a movie. I was like, shit. <laughs> well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was, that was great. That was, that's what I appreciate. I felt inspired. So, was it awe inspired? Was I, I awe inspired? I, I thought so. So now I'm just searching for my dad, and we're just hanging out and doing whatever. Just hanging out. In the middle of exhausted, cold, but worth it. Right? Yes. It was really Line Con 2023 today, but it was yeah. worth it because we all got pictures oh, yeah. and autographs. Yes. So, yeah. so it's worth it. How's it going everybody? So it is the next day. It is Sunday. So it is Sunday, July 2nd, I do believe. And I know I didn't film the rest of this video last night because we didn't get home till like really, really late. But this is going to be the end of my day two video because I unfortunately will not be attending day three of con. So I just wanted to come here and make a little exit video for you guys. I was going to make it last night, but I was very, very tired. And as you can hear, my voice is like almost gone. Um, I just wanted to catch you guys up on some things that happened. I know yesterday the videos were very choppy, especially when I was going to get my autographs and my photo shoots done, but it was because we weren't allowed to film in a lot of areas, so that really, like, you know, was a prevention of me vlogging in those certain areas, especially since I was in those areas that you couldn't film for a lot of hours. So just to kind of recap yesterday, so we got to the convention center a little before 10, maybe like 10 minutes before 10, and Hayden's signing was supposed to start at 10. So I ran up to the dealer's den, to the artist's alley, and I got the piece from my friend, and then I ran back downstairs, and we immediately hopped in line for Hayden's autograph. And I'm, I kid you not, we were standing in that line for probably like two and a half hours. Like, it was crazy. But instead of doing like the... 10 to noon autograph and then the 12:30 to 2:30 photo shoot and then the 3 to 4 autograph and then the 4 to like 6 photo shoot. Hayden just did all autographs in the morning because there were so many people lined up and then he did all the photo shoots after that and then literally by the time he finished all of his autographs and photo shoots, it was time it was like almost time for his panel at 7. Yeah, yesterday was a very long haul of a day. It was very much so Line Con 2023, but I do not regret it even for a second because meeting him was absolutely amazing. Yesterday it was like hard for me to form words, so today I'm a little more composed and I can speak to you guys on a better level. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got. I'm so tired. I have like no energy. Alrighty, so this is the amazing piece that William drew for me of Hayden and I as Jedi back to back. And this is William's autograph and Hayden's autograph is right up there. And I was like, I was freaking out when I first walked up to him. Um, it's also authenticated too. So that's pretty cool. Makes it, makes it worth a lot more. Like as if I ever plan on selling it, which I'm not. I never sell anything. My collectibles are very important to me. When I first was in line, that he was behind, we were lined up and he was behind this curtain so you like couldn't even see anything when you were getting ready. Like normally I'm used to like lining up for autographs and seeing the person from like a mile away and freaking out the whole time. But you literally didn't see Hayden until like you were like the third one in line getting ready to get your autograph done. And you hand the people these picture and then you pick out what marker you want. And I just chose black Sharpie because it's like the cleanest, you know, it's a permanent marker. They had like, like blue dry erase markers and all kinds of crazy stuff there. So I just picked a black Sharpie and I was just sitting there freaking out. And then Hayden looked at me because it was my turn next. And when he made like solid eye contact with me and smiled, I like lost it. I, I couldn't even perform words. I was seriously trying like, I was all like hyping myself up like, yeah, like I'm going to talk to him this and that. No, I didn't. I, I totally chickened out, but it's fine because I want to meet him again. So I'll, I'll have a, this was the first time I've ever seen this man in person. So I'll, I'll have a, I'll have a second go at it. I. Uh, I walked up there and he looked at the picture and he was like, wow, did you draw this? And I was like, no, I was like a friend of mine did. And then he asked like, is this us? Like, is this you and me? And I was like, yeah, I was like, it is. And he was like, and he was like, well, that's awesome. You know, kind of a deal. And he's like, well, where would you like me to sign it? And I was like, wherever you see fitting, sir. Like, why did I say that? I don't even know why I said that. I'm very tired. <laughs> and even now I'm like, why would I say that? Like, that's so stupid, <laughs> but it's fine because he signed it and it was great. 
and he was like, he was like, you look amazing, by the way, because I was in my black Jedi robes, and I was like, thank you, have a good rest of your day, and then I left, and he was just like smiling at me, and solid eye contact, and the whole way out the door, and I was sitting there freaking out, and then it was time for the big one, and this is the one that really got me, so like, it was like three hours later, after waiting in lines and waiting for my group number for the photo op to be called, because I was group 10, and I didn't even pay attention to my group number until like, way after the fact, um, I found this very lovely couple in line that basically shared this whole experience with me and then when we got to the front of the line I met this we met this other couple and then they like we all five of us were just like in it together like we were freaking out talking about Star Wars just hanging out the whole time because it's like we were in line with these people for literally hours like we were like yeah let's just talk let's become friends but they were very very nice and the first couple uh, had their little two-month-old baby with them and I remember her name was Eden I can't remember anyone else's names, I'm sorry. I met a lot of people, so I apologize. But they're very nice people, so if you guys are watching this, thank you guys very, very much for making Khan just an amazing experience and for freaking out with me and for being there, getting the brunt of my freak outs after I met Hayden. So we get up to go do the photo op and it's the same exact room as the autographs, it's just a different curtain we're going behind. And we're sitting there, right, and then it's my turn to go in. And I walked around the corner and the, I see Hayden taking a picture with like uh, the people in front of me and the couple with the baby was behind me and then the other couple was behind them and we were all in this room together like watching each other go through this experience. And well actually I'm going to rewind a little bit because I had my Anakin Skywalker lightsaber in there and I, I asked the guy that was running the photo op outside, I was like can I leave my lightsaber here and pick it up on my, on my way back and he's like yeah, he's like you don't want to take your lightsaber? Because I was originally going to have Hayden hold it in the picture so I could be like yeah Anakin Skywalker actually held this lightsaber but I was like man if it's a choice between holding me or the lightsaber like lightsaber's gotta go you know kind of a deal. I walk up now we're now we're in the booth and we see Hayden taking the last picture with the last pe person in the group for us and then he like the lady like moves around she's like you're next and I walked up to him and he just had the biggest smile on his face and I was like can I have a hug and he was like of course and he like hugged me and he like pushed his like face all the way into my shoulder and neck and just squeezed me like really really tight for a really long time it was like one of the best hugs I've ever gotten in my life he was just like it, it was just it was amazing like I can't I can't describe like like the autograph was an amazing experience but the photo op was like it was it was amazing. So he's like, it's so lovely seeing you again, by the way, because like he remembered me from earlier and I was like, I was like, you too. I was like, I was like, you know, like I really enjoy seeing you too. And then he like wrapped his arm around me and like pulled me in and was like holding my hand in the picture. And I was just like freaking the heck out. And I like, I didn't even know what I was doing. While he was holding my hand, he was like brushing his thumb like across like my hand and I was like are you freaking kidding me like I'm gonna die right now then like I, I he like squeezed my hand again before I left and then I like walked away you know like just we just said our goodbyes and then I walked away and I was screaming and he was just like super happy and super smiling and so was I and then I like walked out and then the couple with the baby behind me took their picture and they came out and then the other couple came through and like we all were standing in line together waiting for our pictures and it was just, it was so crazy because we went to pick up our pictures and this is how, this is how mine turned out. And I was like, <laughs> I was freaking out the whole time. Like it was, it was amazing. Like, look at this. This is, this is beautiful. This is a work of art. You know, like I, I love this man very, very much. And he is just amazing. And he was so kind. And even after seeing like thousands of people that day, he still took the time to like make me feel special out of everybody. And so I, that's like what I appreciate the most too. Like he was probably really exhausted, but he was still like keeping that energy up. And so it's like, I, I do, I really appreciate that. We got in, we got around and what they do is when they print out your pictures, they lay them out on the table and you have to grab your picture and then scan your QR code again a second time just to like, basically like, yeah, like you, you got your picture. And then they have you scan it again before you walk out the door just to make sure like, did you actually pay for a photo op or not kind of video when when we walked out on under the table um and it was something that this couple behind me pointed out and my dad he was like he was like man he's like you were just like really close to him it's like everyone else's pictures they were just like standing maybe an arm on the shoulder but i was like tucked up underneath of this man and it was like amazing and i was like yeah even though i know realistically there's probably other pictures out there like that but i don't care i felt special this was my experience and i was like yeah i got to be the closest to hayden that i seen out of everyone's pictures that i seen at cotton that day which was a lot 
because everyone like after the photo op was like show me your picture show me your picture show me your picture and like everyone that I showed my picture to even if it was someone like I hadn't been talking to or I had just run into were like you guys are so cute like I love your picture so much or I'm so jealous you know kind of a deal and so it's just like ah I was I was freaking out so it was it was a pretty good experience I also made a comment I was like if a boy ever lets me down again in life, I'm just gonna look at this picture and know where my bar is and be like, you know what? Screw them. Anakin Skywalker treats me better than they do. Like, I, I know where my standards are now and Hayden was a very huge part of that, so thank you. That was pretty much my con experience and then after that, you know, we hung out with the couple that had the baby a little bit more. After that, we just went to went to the panel which you guys seen footage of earlier in this video that was absolutely amazing it was hilarious and it was great and it was just an all-around amazing experience another crazy thing about the panel too was i couldn't believe it about a week before i left for con i noticed that fan expo denver had made a post about like hey like submit a 30 second video and it might be played at like uh at the hayden christensen panel and i was like okay i was like you know why not screw it you know like, it was just supposed to be a 30 second video about what star wars meant to you I ended up submitting the video because it was only like a 24 hour submission window on their website and I submitted a video at work, I just filmed it, I took a break, filmed it out in my car, edited it and then sent it made to make sure it was 30 seconds or less and then sent it on its way. It actually got played like on the big screen <laughs> and it was crazy like I know you guys, I know you guys seen that already um, but I was just super shocked because it's like hundreds of people submitted videos and mine was one of six that ended up getting played and i was like what like it was just it was just a winning con you know it was like ev everything just felt like it was just going in my favor which is strange so it was just an amazing experience then after the panel when i met up with some of my other friends again they were just like they were like dude you were on the screen i had random people walking up to me like you were that person on the screen and i was just like whoa like okay Yes, I am, you know, kind of a deal. But it was just, all in all, it was just, it was just great. I was, I was very happy. And we met up with a couple of our friends that we had met previously at the autograph signing. And then we all had dinner together at like 11 o'clock at night. And then we came back to our room, crashed out, and now here we are. And my voice is like so tired from like, <clears throat> from like screaming and yelling at the panel. Cause I'm sure you guys can tell like every five seconds, like Hayden breathes us, ah, you know, kind of a deal. So. But all in all, this con was absolutely amazing. You know, like it was an amazing experience being an Avatar as day one. It was an amazing experience being a Jedi as day two and seeing all the amazing cosplayers and interacting with people and making friends and especially meeting Hayden. And I definitely want to meet this man again because he is just like, he holds a very special place in my heart. And someday hopefully I can check you in off that list as well. Anyways, thank you guys for an amazing con and, and an amazing con experience. And I will see you guys at the next one. So, bye-bye.